and welcome to the One CNC OS channel. In this tip of the day, Patrick will demonstrate how to use the One CNC machining templates to expedite your programming times. Thanks for stopping by and let's get started. Machining templates are a great way to expedite your CNC programming. You can manually create templates if you'd like, or you can use the templates that one CNC automatically saves for you. Let's demonstrate by machining some of the features on the base of this part using machining templates. I'm going to take my cursor, head over to the main toolbar, select Model Toolpaths, and then Z-Level Rough. On the left-hand side of the screen of each dialog box, you'll see the template area. Templates are automatically stored, or you can create your own library. In this example, I'm going to use the Rough Pocket template. I'm going to double-click that. Once I do that, 1CNC fills out all the fields within the dialog boxes, and all I need to do is select my boundary, right-hand mouse click, and let 1CNC generate the toolpath. Very, very good. Now let's demonstrate using a profile operation. So what I'm going to do is take my cursor, head back over to the main toolbar, select Stock Toolpaths, and then Mill Profile. We're going to select that pocket. We're going to climb cut. That looks great. We're going to right-hand mouse click. And for this, let's use the Pocket Finish template for that. So we'll click Next. Make sure our Z-Depth looks good. We're going to click Next all the way through here. Click Finish, and there we go. There's the Finish Profile operation. Now let's use a machining template to spot drill and drill the holes in that pocket. So I'm going to pan the part over just a little bit. We're going to go into Hole Wizard. I'm going to tell the Hole Wizard to machine those four holes just by checking the radio button there. Our clearances look good. We're going to grab this template here. That's going to spot drill and drill, and there you go. There's the spot drill and drill. Let's take this a step further. Let's say that we have to take the part out of the vise and mount it onto a fixture plate, and then we're going to use the side of an end mill to machine that face right there. So to do that, we're going to come down to our plane, and we're going to tell 1CNC that we rotated the part. That looks good. This isn't a four axis. We just put it on a different fixture. We're going to go with profile. I'm going to grab that edge right there. We're going to climb cut. And again, we're going to use a template. We're going to use the corner finish template. You can use templates for all kinds of things. I'll use the corner finish for that. We'll click Next. We're going to make sure that our Z-Depth is correct. You can type in a Z-Depth, but I'm going to demonstrate how you can snap a vertice on your geometry to extrapolate the Z-Depth. That looks great. So we're going to click Next on that. All this looks very good. We're going to click Finish, and there you go. There's the profiling of that edge using a template. Let's finish this video up now with a nice simulation. There's our pocket operation. Remember that we machined or roughed both those pockets using a machining template. Then we're going to use the machining template to profile that left pocket, spot, drill, and drill. Take the part, mount it onto a fixture plate, and machine that side there. Very, very powerful feature within 1CNC. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.